Today on 3D Outdoors, I'm going to provide you with the target ID numbers for your new MineLab Equinox 800. Stay tuned. said I'm going to get into the target ID numbers here. I have a bunch of different coins that I'm going to run in front of it and some jewelry as well and I'm going to show you what those ring up on here so that you know what to look for when you're out metal detecting. Sometimes that can be a, a key part just trying to find the numbers out because how do you figure that out on your own other than going out somewhere and hunting and you have to have some place that you can go. So uh, let's get some coins rolled in here. Try to get the camera down so you can see the uh, unit itself while I'm doing this, and we'll get some IDs for you. All right, we're in uh, part two, as you can see on the machine there. And uh, first we have a Zinc Lincoln. See, we have a 20 signal on that, 20, usually about 21, 20, 21, right in there. Now we're going to go to a 1976 copper penny. Twenty-five, twenty-six. Now we have a wheat penny. See the coppers right in there, that 25, 26, sometimes hitting 27, but 25, 26, 27 usually. There. So just for fun, I put a steel penny down there. You can see in part two, it completely takes that out, so you got no signal. Standard Indian head penny. You see there we got uh, on the standard Indian penny, we're right around that 20, but it jumps around a bit. Not completely solid. Sometimes it's a 19, sometimes 21. Now we're going to go a little older. This is uh, what we'd call a fatty Indian, the thicker ones. Pretty much in that 16, 17 range, but it jumps a little bit. Now we're going to take it a, a bit older than that. You can see we have a large scent sitting down there. Boy, and that is a sweet sound up there, that 34. 34, 35, 36. I would actually love to find one of these. Never have. I had to buy this one to test with. Now we have a two set piece down there as well. Never found one of those, had to buy that for testing. Twenty three, twenty four. But boy, it sounds nice. Now on to the nickels. Now I made a comment about sounds nice. The, the one thing about that is you can't go necessarily by the sounds that I'm giving you. These are the factory preset sounds. The nice thing on the Equinox, you can customize those sounds to whatever you want. Got our nickel right in there, 12, 13, pretty solid. All right, we got ourselves a war nickel down there, 35% silver. Let's see what that rings. Brings it up just a little bit higher. We're still at 12.13 once in a while, hitting 14, but 12.13. Got a buffalo down there. V nickel right in there at 12.13. The one that came before the V nickel. Still in there, 11, 12, 13. Three cent nickel. Jumpy right there. We're talking six, seven, sometimes eight. So basically five to nine, but at five to seven. The itty bitty three cent silver. Of 
we're in there at 18, 19, almost in the uh, Indian head penny zone there. All right, we got ourselves a regular Roosevelt dime down there. Twenty-six to twenty-nine. Got ourselves a rosy silver down there. Twenty-seven, twenty-nine. Sometimes jumping to thirty, thirty-one. Got ourselves a mercury down there. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, but you see that jumping into the thirties every once in a while. Just for fun, I happen to have some Canadians here. Here's a Canadian dime from in the two thousands. Look at that, nothing, nada. I actually found that hooked to a magnet in a coin return machine when I was uh, returning some of my coin roll hunts. So you're not going to find that in a regular setting here in America if somebody dropped that. Let's get some of the older stuff. There's a Canadian dime from the 70s. Let's see if that rings up. No, not really. Really low if it does. Yeah, like 5, 6, 7, 11. Wow, I wouldn't even dig it. All right, hopefully this one will ring up. This should be a silver Canadian. And now that's just like the American. We're up there in those uh, high 20s into low 30s. Got a modern U.S. quarter down there. 29.30. Got a Washington silver quarter. Boy, I love that sound. 31, 32, sometimes 29. Happen to have a standing Liberty quarter there. Boy, that's 31 all day long. 30, 31. I like that. Just for fun, I've also found this one uh, in some coins. It's a Bahamas from 2015. And I don't know what they use in the foreign coins, but as you can see, we're coming in in that almost iron area. Three and eight. If it hits at all. Got a 40%. It's a 1969 half dollar there. 33, 32. Sometimes a little deeper around that foot mark. You might get a 29. All right, for fun, uh, we got a walking Liberty half there. Let's uh, scan that. Uh, right in there at the uh, 30 to 34 mark, sometimes hitting 29. Got ourselves one of the newer dollars. Right at 30, 29, 30. Be digging that all day like a quarter. All right, we got the Saskatchewan dollar. Same area there, 30, 32. Got ourselves a Susan B. Anthony dollar. to 31 right in there kind of curious what this will come up it's a five pence I found it laying on a coin return machine out down the machine wouldn't take it and somebody didn't want it so they threw it on the top so I took it right in that 11 range that'd be uh, findable almost to a nickel a little lower an electric rainbow token 22, 23, you would think that was a screw cap. I'll actually give you that information too. The screw caps ring in right in that range too, pretty much. Got a pull tab off a monster can. 13, 14, 15. All right, and here's where you run into problems. So what we have there on the ground right now is a wedding ring. And uh, we're going to run that over here real quick. And you see that's coming in at a 13-14. So the unfortunate part is if you want to dig a gold ring like that, you're going to have to dig some junk along with it because it rings in that same area. All right, we've got my Black Hills gold ring. Let's see what that rings up. 
right in that 16, 17 range. Normally you probably wouldn't dig that. But there it is. All day long. Got ourselves a men's wedding band down there. Coming in at 15, 16. All right, so there you go. There are the target IDs, and I will roll in a picture here. I'll make a nice chart and roll it in there. And that way you can see what all the target IDs that I've come up with for the Equinox are. You also notice that in order to dig some of those finer treasures, such as gold rings, and things like that, you're probably going to have to dig some trash along with it. They come up in the same ID range, so you're going to have to decide where you're at if you want to dig those targets or not. So hopefully you find this helpful. This is Dan with 3D Outdoors reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom. See you next time.